in Rural Grooves. It's FMHDMS. We're going to the telephone line. Uh, I want to speak to uh, a gentleman who is a wonderful writer and performs and sings with the Chicago Mass Choir. Good morning to you, Sean, and welcome to the Song Book of Gospel. How you doing? Thanks for having me, Simone. I'm great. How are you? I'm feeling good, man. You know, when I was coming in the studio, which I own and operate, I, I noticed there was a little snowflakes. And, and, you know, the snowflakes remind me of the blessings that God can shower us with. You know what Indeed. I mean? <laughs> How you doing this morning, man? Man, I'm great. I'm just not ready for any snow. I mean, I don't want to clean off no car. Uh, to be able to go to the grocery store. I don't want to do all, have to do all that this morning. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's so funny, Sean, because when I fly through Chicago, um, it, it's always so brutally cold during the winter, and the plane takes forever to get off the runway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they have to de-ice the plane, and, yes. you know, uh, you just leaving out of Chicago is probably not good for anybody at any time during any type of winter. Absolutely. Well, I just wanted to have you on for a moment, man. We appreciate you. You know, I believe in doing things spontaneous because that's what my show is about. And I, I had an opportunity of meeting you uh, about a month ago uh, with Professor Craig Hayes, and we were at his event. And I thank God for his ministry over there in New Jersey while we're here in Philadelphia. But I want you to bring us up to date a little bit about your relationship with the Chicago Mass Choir that has impacting radio for many, many years. Well, um, Chicago Mass, of course, uh, as most of everyone knows, they have a, have, um, pretty much have formed, formed a household name for themselves, mm -hmm. uh, all over the country and nationwide and uh, internationally as well. I think they just left Switzerland, um, doing some promoting of, uh, the project there as well. Um, I intervened on this last project with a song called What Must I Do to Be Saved? Mm -hmm. That has actually, um, I think this project was, uh, Grammy and Stella nominated as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, had the pleasure of working with, uh, the great boys team and it was indeed a pleasure working with them and, uh, just trying to promote the message and the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, you know, to all people, regardless of, uh, uh, ethnicity or, or culture or, um, a religious background. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what Chicago Mass really does really well. It, I mean, uh, I, I've, I've heard about Japan and how, uh, you know, the song has been sung over in Japan and how people are embracing the gospel of which we do here mm -hmm. every Sunday, but they love it there. I mean, it's just like a treasure to them there overseas. Mm -hmm. And bringing all of that together mm -hmm. on this last project was just phenomenal. It was an awesome experience of uh, actually sharing something that God had did with me. Mm -hmm. Personally, I wrote the song in Houston, Texas, and had my singers down in Houston uh, going on, and we we just began singing it and ministering it. And um, and, and it's just so awesome, some, mm -hmm. Simone, how God will take something that he birthed within you mm -hmm. and let a nation hear it. And uh, I'm just so honored that Chicago Mass found something, uh, a treasure that God had given me that they – wanted to share uh, and, and accepted the song uh, on the project. That's awesome, man. Uh, congratulations. Uh, I played this song at 9 o'clock this morning. We're going to be playing it again tomorrow. So so share what God is putting in your spirit about writing and, and working with the Chicago Mass Choir. Or, or what's really next for you, Sean? Uh, <laughs> well, I got some things on the up and coming. I'm seeking out some singers out in the Philadelphia area, mm -hmm. as well as the New York, the tri-state area. Um, looking forward to doing some new things. Um, what I tend to give to artists nowadays is you got to be, you got to hear from God, and hearing from God is probably mm -hmm. the only way to get a song uh, that's going to minister. I think what has happened uh, uh, to the gospel music today has been infiltrated, mm -hmm. and so you got everybody hearing the same sound. Exactly. And uh, I tell people. You know, with, with me, I, I, I want to hear directly from God because God will create an original sound like that, that uh, man have not heard before. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I'm doing at this point. I'm putting together some sounds that God is dealing with me. Um, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, he's dealing with me mm -hmm. individually mm -hmm. uh, to bring it to the corporate uh, uh, for, forefront. Mm -hmm. And so I'm looking, f you know, for God to do... Uh, that with me, I'm expecting great things, and uh, 
you know, just pretty much, you know, man, just just not trying to do what everybody else is doing I like that. and uh, allowing my relationship with God. And I tell every songwriter, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you can't be a songwriter and not have a prayer life mm. because what what songs are? I even put that all out on my Facebook mm-hmm. at one point. What what songs are really? It's prayers that I've prayed. Mm. And, uh, and and when you have a relationship with God and you talk to God and you say, God, you know, I want you to be in my heart and be in my thoughts and be in my ways and be in my praise. Mm-hmm. And that's just a conversation between God and I. And conversations becomes songs yes. because of the prayers that uh, our spirits uh, bring before Christ. And so I, I encourage the songwriters, you know, uh, and, you know, because everybody these days, uh, Simone, everybody and their mom is a songwriter. Oh, <laughs> you know, you got everybody <laughs> and their mom in the church house is a songwriter. Mm-hmm. But God still calls uh, and equips, and, and, and he only uh, has chosen a few of us mm-hmm. to really hear what he's streaming from heaven. And, uh, and, and those are the songs that will take us the furthest. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to create those songs and looking for singers to bring out the best of, of the songs. And uh, I think it, 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 it's an awesome and phenomenal thing mm-hmm. when a song is written uh, from the Spirit and God, I've connected with God and we've had a conversation. Mm-hmm. And then uh, my brother and my sister that takes the song, they're connected with the song mm. because of the same spirit, and they felt the same way. And that's matter of fact, uh, I uh, too often found times where uh-huh. um, uh, I'll write a song, uh, I'll have a conversation with Christ, and then I'll write a song uh, based off that prayer that I've prayed. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I'll give it to a singer, and a singer said, You know what? My spirit was saying the same thing. Wow. And it's an effective and immediate connection that mm-hmm. is there because their spirits were crying out the same. Their prayer life was saying the same thing. So what you're finding is actually, uh, and that's what I'm looking for, is the singers that have that spirit to connect. Yes. Because the spirit, uh, the Bible says that uh, 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 you try the spirit by the spirit. That's right. And so uh, what will happen is my spirit will connect uh, uh, with Christ's spirit, and Christ's spirit to connect with my spirit and then I'll give it off to a lead singer and, and, and he or she, their spirit to connect into my spirit and, and, and their, uh, their spirit also connect into Christ's spirit That's and right. it's just an awesome you know, uh, experience for all of us mm-hmm. who, 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 who who can share in that, and and and, and that is, is is phenomenal above yes. above everything. That's incredible. That type of uh, connection. Yes, that's great, Sean. Sean, real quick. So you are in the process of recruiting people to sing with you. Yes, I am currently looking for singers mm-hmm. in the area, mm-hmm. uh, tri-state area. Mm-hmm. Uh, those people. I'm I'm kind of uh, at this point I'm old school okay. and and uh, kind of looking for singers who are willing, okay. willing to take an opportunity and willing not only to take an opportunity but take a risk yes. uh, into something. And you know, uh, for those singers who are interested, of course mm-hmm. they you know they can connect with me through Facebook. Yes. Uh, my Facebook Sean Michael S H A W N M I K A E L or yes. Um, you know, a songwriter, Sean Michael, which is the fan page, mm-hmm. or, and they can connect with me through that as well. And, and, you know, I've actually had several people send in auditions as well. Great. So definitely trying to, you know, do something on the East Coast that, you know, no one else is doing, but uh, presenting a sound that uh, that comes directly, you know, from uh, channel through uh, the Holy Spirit. Wonderful. So God sent you over this way because you're in Philadelphia now. And are you playing for a church or ministering at a church uh, weekly or what? Well, I am. I'm, I'm currently uh, kind of seeking out different options at this point. I haven't uh, uh, settled anywhere. Okay. And uh, I did come along and was helping out the Mother Bethel AME Church mm-hmm. for uh, a little while okay. over in Center City. Okay. And so I'm, I'm still currently uh, looking for something else. Mm-hmm. And uh, so definitely, if anyone knows of anything, you know, I'm definitely available uh, for conversation. Absolutely. God is definitely going to do it for you. Sean, I thank you so much for stopping by FMHDMS. Go ahead and give some shout-outs to people. I'm actually, this is live videoed as well as I stream. So go ahead and say hello to people that can uh, see me but hear your voice on the other side there. Go ahead and say hello. Well, I want to, you know, just say hello to all the people who are listening and encourage everyone in Christ 
to continue to uh, to seek Him. Yes. Early, uh, I, early, I shall seek Him, and, yes. and I want to just encourage everyone um, to seek Christ daily in your walk mm-hmm. and early, and and, and 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 wake up and begin to have that awesome and fanatical relationship with Him, and let Him talk to you constantly, mm-hmm. consistently, and daily. And uh, also, I want to thank you, Simone, for mm-hmm. having the Chicago Mass and embracing us as yes. you know, we try to uh, speak to uh, the world internationally, mm-hmm. breaking down all barriers. Thank you so much for having me yes. and uh, supporting. Absolutely. We're always here for you. I had your president on a couple of years ago. Uh, she was on the show talking about the Chicago Mass Choir because I wanted people to understand the history of this phenomenal choir out of Chicago. Yes. So Fernando, thank you so much, man. She's an awesome lady uh, and, and an awesome director. Wonderful. Have a great day. Real quick, I'm going to let you go ahead and give some shout-outs because I know you love. Go ahead and say hello to a few people real quick. Go ahead. Well, I want to say hello, SD and all the family over there at uh, at uh, uh, Love Fellowship mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, uh, Professor, you know, and uh, Mitchell Sanders and... Um, let's see, host of friends yes. and Amanda Ryle oh, yeah. and, uh, uh, Vinol, uh, Jr. You know, I'm still waiting to hear from him. Matter of fact, okay. I told that boy I got a song for him. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully I would, uh, you know, be able to connect with everyone in the area. Wonderful. And, um, and, you know, we do some great things for God. Sounds good. Well, Sean, thank you so much and have a super great day and make sure you tell everybody continue to listen in. Uh, they'll hear your interview yes. again tomorrow and you'll also get the live video as well, okay? I will be tuning in and thanks again for having me. It is my pleasure. Bless you, brother. God bless you. Okay, bye-bye.